So, welcome to the channel. Now, I've took a few days to think about things, right? I live in the UK, right? And we all live in the UK and we have been put down into a lockdown or 90% positive way to be a lockdown. Scotland is worse than Wales and England. Uh, more restrictions, more barriers, and they were all put in today. And we will announce this on Tuesday by Boris, Nicola, and the guy from Wales. Or whoever's learning Wales, I don't know. Maybe the sheep, I don't know. So, I've took a few days to think about things. And, well, I haven't made a video recently because I'm really not sure what to think things. And plus, I had a life things to do, so fine. So... When I got told there's going to be a lockdown, which we fucking knew was going to happen, or lock version of a kind anyway, and then it happened. Friday, today, is the day of the lockdown, or the 90% version of that lockdown, where you cannot go into people's homes, I can go to see my granny, no wait, I cannot go to see a granny, but we can go to the pub and get pissed. But... In the borders or the regional lines where you get the south of Scotland and the north of England, the fact that you can go in England into someone else's house for a pint of drink and watch the football, but at home you can have a cup of tea with your granny or your mum. That is from BBC Scotland. I still think that's quite a great quote in itself because to show how stupid it's all going. But that's not the point of this video. My views... Okay, you're going to take this the long way. I know you will. I've took a minute and a half to talk about the start of this. Yeah. So, when I got... When I start seeing the people going absolutely crazy for the lack of toilet rolls, the things that's going crazy, the lockdown restrictions, the number of cases, we'll talk about that in a minute, and then all the people, all the normies... This is for the normies, by the way. The normies, the ones who believe the BBC, the ones who go home after the work and then watch ITV, BBC, and whatever fucking channel they, they're supposed to be tuning into, and they know it has some left media bias or bias that they, the media themselves will believe. Well, we know the BBC is full of shit, mostly, and ITV is on the bandwagon as well for telling some of the truth of their own narrative, kind of like CNN in America. Well, when we all heard the story of the fact that we were going to be locking down, things were going to be tougher, we couldn't do things, we couldn't go and do stuff, and then you see all the normies going fucking crazy, and the Coca-Cola virus has a time now, oh my god, oh my god, there's things going on. Well, you know what I say about that? <laughs> You fucking idiots. Ah, oh, it's fucking hilarious. It's absolutely fucking hilarious to watch you fuckers going nuts. It fucking is. It's funny. Because us, the community who has been telling you the fact they're locking down in the first place, at the first at the start we were all like, yeah, we saw the cases, look at the cases here. Yeah, we saw they were very high, the deaths were very high, fucking hell, no wonder we locked down. It was like, yeah, that was a good idea. Well, for me, I thought it was a good idea as well at the same time was, I don't think I would have liked to lock down the country. Because you know what did? It fucked up the economy. Although I might have been very supportive of the lockdown, and people were very supportive because some of them are lazy bastards and they like getting their fellow fucking scheme from the government. Well... It just looks like things just turned into absolute shit, didn't it? And you, you were fucking happy with it back then. You were happy with it back then. But the ONS ends up coming out with a report, but the news won't talk about this one, where only 300-odd people have actually died from the Coca-Cola virus than everything else. More people have died in a fucking plane crash then they do this. I'm sorry, it's not funny. I'm not trying to make a funny joke about it at all, but it's the fact that a plane of people dies in a, like, let's say the Ukraine flight crash, and the death of virus in the UK has the exact same meaning for lockdown. We have more deaths by car crashes every year, but we don't ban cars. 
They remember back in 1960s where we used to have a guy standing on the road with a red flag saying, Oh, can you slow down? Please, because you're going too fast. We're not going fucking the back that stage again. But it's fucking funny to watch you lot go absolutely mental. Because you're like, oh my god, there's a time limit, there's a thingy, and there's that, and there's that, and there's that. For fuck's sake, you weren't fucking happy with it before. So it's just the same again, isn't it? You were happy with it before. The virus, or whatever fucking it was called, made from Chinese labs, which we knew from the start. But the thing is, you called us all conspiracy theorists. You called us fucking tinfoil hat conspiracy theorists. You know what? I've got my fucking tinfoil here. It's for the fucking head. It's n you, you can get yours. Go to Tesco, Asda, somewhere. Oh, wait. Maybe you can't because um, stores up and down the UK is actually running out of boglo. Because I forgot when this virus started up, we had a diarrhea pandemic going on at the same time. No? No? Not a pandemic? Oh, I thought we were having diarrhea wars. Because yesterday, I swear I saw one guy... Him and his wife, I know who the fuck they are, so don't cloud this up. He and his wife bought three packs of 24 toilet rolls. Who the fuck's going to need that much toilet rolls this time of year? No one! And we know Christmas is cancelled. We know you New Year's is cancelled. And you finally fucking tell me, you guys are getting annoyed now. And you'd be saying, oh, well, people are getting a bit fed up of lockdown now. Well, you were happy with it before. Oh, the cases were high. Well, let's go up and talk about the cases. Because if, if, if anyone that makes sense of these cases, I mean, thank fucks a lot of you have woke up. I mean, that's great. A bunch of you have woke up fucking amazing. Like, to see how bad this is. But the thing is, you're still not getting it. You're not getting it. Because when we talk about lockdown, the Scottish hate bill has went through. The Tories actually tried to help you here and stop that, and you still fucking blame them for stuff. You blame them for things that you say, oh my god, Douglas Murray's evil. Well, everyone's not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm the guy who dressed like a fucking communist, and I'm a conservative thinker. So fuck you. Anyway, the hate bill went through, right? The hate bill went through, and there's a guarantee we can't make any jokes or references to anything in Scotland. So fucking goes comedy, and fucking goes actual white man skin stuff. We're fucked. I mean, I really want to leave Scotland now, just thanks to that. Like, things like that, which are fucking important, you don't look at. And you're like, oh, what's that? Oh, what does this do? What's that do? Oh, you don't fucking care at the time, do you? You, you don't fucking care. Uh, but then you would care about the virus that's actually only deadly to your granny and grandma. Or someone with underlying illness. Well, what I'd have made sure was, make sure all the folk that were most vulnerable stays at fucking home or stays in a fucking care home and anyone who wanted to do a test or do something like that would get tested before they go fucking in the place not every single fucking person who has any sort of immunity has to be suffering for it people lose their jobs people businesses are going out of stock and things are going absolutely fucking crazy and you fucking accepting that like the hospitality sector in scotland which is like the fifth thing you need to produce your fucking amazing independent Scotland, which is never going to work, is like, oh, look. Like, we, the hospitality sector's fucked. Well, you said the virus was their fault. You, you fucking said it on BBC Scotland Radio. I fucking heard you. The professor guy, him. He said it. He, he was basically admitting it himself. He was like, oh, wasn't it their fault? But it was their fault, wasn't it? You, you don't fucking say that. And, well, you know what's funny? You know what's funny about that? It's the fact that you still lie about it. It's the fact that people still don't buy it. It's the fact that you all bought this at the start, but now you're getting a bit fed up of it. Now you're getting a bit annoyed by it. Now you're getting called the conspiracy theorist because Piers Morgan will keep telling you every day the fucking virus is deadly, but it's only deadly to your fucking granny and someone who has a bad health condition. Because look at the ONS reports. They are fucking staggering, to say the least. And you know what? Thank God you woke up. Thank God you woke up. But the thing is, right now... <laughs> oh, man. You called us crazy. You called us crazy with the tinfoil hats. Tinfoil hats when we were protesting in London for fighting for freedom. Fight for freedom, London protests, and all the other protests before. And the 
like, anti-government ones or anti-lockdown ones. You called us fucking crazy. The media called us crazy. And you fucking bought it. Remember when they told you to go out, eat out, help out, and then the media blamed you for them, and then you were told to go to the beach, and they were like, oh, you that's uh, your fault too. Your fault for spreading this fucking Coca-Cola virus. Well, I don't know about you, but if you, if you feel like you've been played yet, because I think everyone has now woken up to the idea they're getting played with. And, well, if you're still fucking happy, that's fine. You're fucking great. That's great. I benefited from this. I got more hours of money and so on. I didn't want there to be a pandemic. I wanted things for my life to go absolutely amazing. I was actually prepared to go on marches and so on. But you get £10,000 fines? Fuck me, man. I'm not going to do it. Well, that looks like I'm just buying into the system. But then, if there's enough people fighting, there's enough people willing to win. So, my final thoughts were... Ha ha, you stupid normies have thought everything was fucking fantastic and now you don't like it. Ha ha, now you need to wake up and fight the fucking government for these anti-lockdowns. We saw the immigration's doing bad, we saw the economy's doing bad, and now your entire businesses, small businesses, and giant fucking lease set is starting now. Get rid of Nicola Sturgeon, tell Boris what the fuck you think, because we've only got a few days left before you can actually reconfigure the six-month fucking plan, because... You think 2021 is going to be better? Christmas is dead. New Year's is dead. City Council, they cancel the fucking fireworks. How the fuck that fix anything, I don't know. But now you're getting concerned? You're getting concerned now. Come on. Wake up, guys. You need to wake up. All the fucking normies out there, you need to share, like, and watch this video. You need to watch this. Because if you don't watch it now, we're fucking lost. You need to wake up and you need to keep telling people... The fact checkers on the internet, they're not right. They'll tell you their narrative of the story. Same with the BBC and ITV. Defund the BBC. Stop paying your license. 250,000 people or something like that. Stop paying and costing the BBC 4 million fucking pounds. And ITV has lost money too. Because, you know, BLM movement on the Berlin's Got Talent. They've lost viewers on that. And fuck me, man. It's funny to watch these people finally waking up. But now you've woken up, I hope you pay attention. Thank you. So guys, thank you for watching this video straight to the very end, so I must have done something like that you've been able to watch this piece of shit long enough. So, thank you guys for watching this video right to the end, and if you want to support my channel in any other way, because we are planning to go big on this channel, we are planning to make sure the left knows us, make sure the cancel culture recognizes we are threat, like me and many other creators, our voices are being silenced every and each day. So we must make sure we stand out to the cloud. And I am going to make sure my voice and freedom of speech is going to be there too. And if you want to help me support this, we are on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Parler and Patreon. We're also on BitChute and we also have our own website. So if you want to know any special details, make sure you click onto the Parler app and the BitChute so we can get more content on this for the special members on those pages and you get to see more events about what I'm doing. It's going to be a lot of interesting stuff you get to see on those things. So make sure you sign up to all these different pages where you want to get to see what I'm doing and we could get a lot of interesting stuff going on here, guys. So thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one. And remember, hail the Empire.